he knocked out Maloney in spectacular fashion. Yeah, we saw there, as soon as he threw that looping shot, he got into dangerously close position, and that's where Santiago fired back with his overhand right. So, you know, it's going to be more than just trying. I mean, he, he, nobody wants to leave their belt. Ooh, good shots there from Nakatani as he backs Santiago up. Ooh, good combinations, letting those hands fly. Sweeping the opening rounds and now putting on a show in round five. Combinations, quickness, movement. Left hands upstairs, seemingly unanswered. Boom, that's that body shot that I was talking about. Stops on a dying and then rips a left uppercut right to the liver side. Santiago took that well because that was right on the money. Beautifully timed shot though. And there's that overhand jab, that one, two, one combination followed with a lead leaping uppercut to no avail so far here in round. Oh, huge left hand by Nakatani drops the champion Alejandro Santiago in round six. You know, I'd mentioned multiple times he was going to have to hit the champion with a shot that he didn't see or anticipate. Santiago did not see that punch coming. Straight left hand right down the middle. Beautiful shot. Catches him on the point of the chin, put him down. And here comes Junto Ooh. Nakatani. Oh. Right hand down goes Santiago again. This time it was the right hook that caused damage to drop Santiago for the second I time. I think the corner stopped it. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the fight. Junto wow. Nakatani, the challenger, now champion at bantamweight. It really is the limit. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that impressive performance. Yeah, it said near, nearly flawless performance there. That was a flawless left hand. Beautiful shot right on the money, straight down the pipe, right on the chin. Like I said, Santiago never recovered from that shot. Here we see some action from rounds earlier. And it's Mostly one-way action, though, as Nakatani was just too long, too strong, too sharp tonight. A couple punches landed by Santiago in round two and three, but for the most part, Nakatani was able to control the distance, set the tone, and land his power shots at will, especially those last couple rounds. Here we see the finish. It's going to be a right hook along the ropes, drop Santiago hard. Beautiful shot right in the chin. Got up on unsteady un 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 legs. And Nakatani followed up, got him, got, rid got him out of there. Fantastic work from Nakatani. And I get the feeling Team Nakatani is not surprised at all.